Okay, so here we are at the Hog Waller Hair Scramble. The Hog Waller Mud Ball. And it's, the siren's going off. And I'm over at the bike. Getting ready to take off and I'm in neutral. So, uh, that was a mistake on my part. Yeah, I wasn't feeling it today. I just, I don't know what to do was. I, I just wasn't in the mood to race and... I don't know. This wasn't feeling it. Didn't do a practice lap. Got there just in time to kind of go and ride. I didn't do any maintenance to the bike whatsoever. I don't even think I washed it. So uh, I, I just was totally unprepared. Cool little enduro section in this race, though. If you want to call it that. Ah, look at that big old blob of crap right to the helmet. That always helps you out. So with the horrible start, I don't know where I was in the position at this point, but you know, I'm just out doing my ride, I'm going to make the best of the day, right, just have fun, try to ride kind of good if I can, but I wasn't, and uh, look at that, double arrows right there, I'm okay, yeah, I missed the double greens, the kid just said go ahead, so uh, I went on ahead, but in the uh, good sportsmanship manner that I was in that day, I let the guy that I did had just passed, pass me back, uh, you know, just to be completely fair. So now, they don't even have to do that, but uh, now i got to race him back and pass him again. So, uh, ended up, he's not actually in my class, so that was really completely pointless. And he's not letting me get by him easy either. He's racing me. I got another mud, mud piece there on my lens, so it, it doesn't stay forever. So, don't worry about it. But I ended up getting the pass there, and then here's another guy that uh, he is in my class, and I got to get around him now. So right there, he gets stopped behind a, another rider, so I make a double pass right there for the two of those guys, and cruise him back along. And you know, I'm feeling okay. This is uh, complete in one lap right here. I cut a lot of this out. Uh, that guy right there, that was off to the side, he's in my class. He took a big tumble on the whoop section right there, I guess. So yeah, I cut a lot of this out because of the uh, glob on the lens. But I am going through the checkpoint, and I'm back at it again. And they, I don't know what place I'm in at this point. I don't even know if I saw it. Oh, back through the enduro section. Guy flagging me over to the side because of a rider that's having trouble here. Yeah, it's a lot easier to go through it when it's uh, a clean path. You can kind of hit it nicely. You get it on him, no problem. Not in my class. And it, oh yeah, this... Jeez, that took a horrible line right here. Right to the center of the freaking mud. Oh, that was a mess. But back out again onto the straight. And, yep, lens is clean. I wiped my lens. Isn't that nice? Getting around a guy here. Oh, downed rider right there. I don't know if you can see it in the shadows. But there was a guy crashed out right there. So moving right along here, and I think, yeah, that's Harley in front of me. Uh, Harley, if you remember from other videos, we have a pretty good riding relationship here. So, you know, we, we have friendly competition. So I'm trying to figure, okay, how do I get around Harley? What do I got to do? I caught up to him. I can get around him. But it's tight stuff. It's hard to do. It's really hard to get around him. But I think he ends up, yeah, he ends up... Uh, I think he just let me buy him right there because he knows it's like, alright, so Mike's pushing pretty good. I'm going to just get in behind him, right behind him. And that's what he did. So thank you, Harley, for that. Again, good, clean rating, riding uh, with the two of us. So just booking around here. Now this is completion of another lap. Pulling through the chicane. 47 seconds. Now I said 47 seconds. That means I'm 47 seconds behind third place. So I actually, I passed a lot of guys in that a couple laps there. So I'm thinking, wow, okay, I got, you know, one, maybe two more laps left and uh, 47 seconds. I can make that up. I can make that up for two laps. I just need a nice, clean couple laps and I can get around this guy. So not too bad. So here I am, booking around. I'm just like, I'm going to pick the speed up a little bit, feeling a little bit more comfortable. I'm not pushing too crazy, but I'm riding nice and hard and thinking, I might actually be able to do this. For being such a bad day, third place finish, man, that's all right. So back through the enduro section again. Yep, nothing to that. Up and over the little wimpy tabletop. Uh, 
Now, interesting, in this whole lap here, I had, like, hardly any traffic. This guy had his easy pass right around him. Just, this one, I don't know where everybody was, but I guess they were just at different sections of the course when I was in here, because this was a really nice, easy, clean lap. Hardly any traffic, hardly any anything at all to, to really mention. But at least now you can see it, because I don't have a big blob of crap on the lens. Kind of a fast couple little sections here as we turn into the fence area. Get ready to go into the pine trees. Yeah, moving along pretty good. I'm not pushing uh, ridiculous or anything, but I'm riding good. Just nice and steady and smooth. Back to the pine-ish, palmetto, whatever this thing is. I don't know what you call this. You gotta watch for those roots, man. They come out and they're sideways in the ground, those palmetto roots. They're pretty nasty. Now, look at that. The traffic that I did have just went right around. I mean, it was it was crazy. The, the traffic was not in my way. They were there, but it just didn't seem to affect me at all. Now, this is pretty wild. This is a real soft sand section where they kind of had like a... It was sort of motocrossy, but not really. Because it was so soft, it was really hard to actually jump anything. And they just sucked the tires right down into the soil. So I didn't really try to jump anything, I just tried to sort of, you can tell the bike's kind of weaving around in there. You can tell how soft it was, it was uh, really soft. Now this guy here, I think, this was the only time I slowed down for anybody on this lap. And it ended up being a really good fast lap for me, but it didn't even slow me down very much at all. I mean, I just went kind of right around, and then it's like, alright, well, that's it. Back out in the open, and uh, moving right along, good, steady pace. This guy here just kind of slowed down a little bit to get around him to square up. Not a problem. The other guy, I mean, I just went, the guy just pulled completely over. I mean, I can't complain about this. Now this, look at that guy stopped, the guy misses him around him, and I just go right around both. That that was crazy. I mean, it didn't slow me down at all. Another guy pulled right over, let me by. So I think about this point, I'm thinking, wow, I, I might actually do this. I'm making some really good time here. Maybe I ought to just kick this up another notch and uh, try to catch this guy, because I, I might catch him on this lap. So, going through here, going through the chicane, and I look in, and over on my right, you'll see a rider take off. That's third place. He stopped in to pit, and apparently, uh, he didn't get his whole pit done. He just stopped over there, and he started filling up the tank, and he saw me coming. So he shooted the cap on real fast, and took off, and just pulled out ahead of me. And it takes me a minute to realize who this guy is. I'm trying to see the number plates from the side. He's not a normal rider that rides uh, in our class. Well, he's a normal rider, but he's not He's not the guy that rides in our class regularly, uh, or this season anyway, so I, I took a while took a while for me to recognize who the heck he was. But I can tell from the pace that he's at, I start to figure out that, all right, this is, this is my guy. This is third place. I already caught him. All I gotta do now is get around him. I can see the number plate real good there. I know where we are. I'm like, all right, man. I got this. I got this. And then, that happens. Yep. As a part of not doing any maintenance to my bike, I needed to adjust my clutch lever. Didn't do it. And now I'm paid for it. So now I lost, I don't know, five or six seconds there, whatever that was. I know it doesn't sound like much in the grand scheme of things, but now I got all that work to do to catch back up to the guy. If I can even catch back up to it, because let's face it, he was in third place, he's a good rider. And now he knows I'm there, so he's probably really on it. So, here I go, and I can see him. He's up there, I see him, that's him. And I'm, I'm catching back up now, on the gas, and I start, uh, I start riding a little harder now. Now that's actually, that wasn't him, sorry, that was another rider in between us. So I, I lied or I was incorrect, whichever one you want to pick. So I, I haven't found him yet. I might have thought that was him. And I'm like, all right, so now where is he? All right, now that's him. Two riders out of the way. Let's us both go by really fast. So now it, it's on, man. And he knows I'm there at this point. He, he knows it. So he's, he's riding pretty hard and aggressive. And I'm riding pretty hard and aggressive. And this is what we call good racing, folks. So I have to pick my point. How am I going to get around him? Where am I going to do it? What am I going to do? I'm going to get up close to him, and I'm going to figure out as soon as he makes a mistake. If he takes a corner wide, if he 
takes something weird, whatever he does, I'm taking another line. I'm, I'm going to get around him. So we're cruising right up, and then right here somewhere, maybe another couple of friends. There we go. He takes a wide corner. I take the inside. It's real rough. But I just use that four-stroke power. Nice thing about that bike. It really gets some good blowdown grunt in there when you crack that throttle open. And I pull ahead. And then a lap rider right in the way. He almost crashes. Ah, uh, man. I got to figure out. All right. I, I'm in the lead. I can't let the guy go by. I can't let him go by. So I'm trying to make another pass. This guy, I don't know what that was. He just like crossed lanes all of a sudden. So every time that happened, I'm thinking, all right, the guy's right behind me. And he's catching up. Another time here, another lap rider. I mean, these guys before were just pulling right out of the way. Now it's slowing me down. Now it's a big deal. And they're not pulling over as easy as they were before. So, oh man, I, I tell you, it's just, it's struggling again. I'm, I'm back to struggling. And then you got the added pressure of the guy right behind you, you know. So here's another one. Uh, I'm losing time. Losing time. The guy's catching me right now. I got to get around. So I know you're thinking, well, the guy's got to pass those guys too. But when you're following somebody, if you're right on their tail, when that rider pulls out of your way in front of you, the guy that's tagging you, tailing along, he can just go right by too. So it's actually benefiting the right behind me more than it's benefiting me big time. Now these guys here, I'm looking like every single way. How do I get around? What can I do? I'm trying to find different options, trying to see. That there's just not a big enough opening anywhere to get a bike around. Now these two guys are, are probably racing each other too, so it's not like, you know, it's not like they want to slow down. So I got to run one. I don't remember what happens here. Oh, cut the trees kind of close there. Look at that. That's, wow, that's that's pretty impressive actually that's a good move all right so now I should be free to go right should be just the hammer down and let's uh, let's take care of some business here and then oh stupid clutch stupid clutch oh where's the guy I know he's right there he's breathing down my neck all right so now whatever I had pulled away in that short bit the guy is right behind me now and I mean he's breathing down my throat so I got to do something impressive quickly so I, uh, I start, start to move a little faster here, trying to figure out some things. And I go, all right, I got this lead. I don't want to give it up. I don't want to give it up. And then this happens. Oh, right between the trees. Yeah, so he slowed down a little and said, hey, you all right? Like, yeah. Look at that wedged in there. Man. And this is like maybe two miles from the finish. I mean, eh, this, that really sucks. But I think, you know what? I caught him twice already. I... Yeah, I'm not worried about the plastics. So, uh, I caught him twice already. I can catch him again. Maybe I just need to freaking move. So there I go. I'm moving now. And uh, this this is actually kind of hard for me to watch right here. Just, I, God, man. He's just really close to the trees. Ah. And that's Brian Dirt Diggler. First race I've ever actually lapped him. Sorry, Brian. Uh, he had his head shoulder surgery, so you know you got to give him some credit for even being out there. It's pretty amazing. But I'm really, man, I'm I'm really riding aggressive right now, man, just, God, God, dang, don't hit a tree, uh, wow, so yeah, I'm, I'm a hammer down, just going, going at it, oh, this is, this is a pretty aggressive riding right here, and that tight stuff, so back on the whoop section, right toward the finish, and I see that little dot up there, that's him, so I actually caught back up to him yet again. And I'm like, man, I am right. I'm like three turns before the freaking finish line. There's one. Oh, there's two. Listen, you hear that? Clip the freaking four by four. <laughs> oh, and I don't make it. I mean, just that close. Just that close. One second difference in time between the two of us. Which is not much in a two-hour race. Hit that tree, man. <laughs> yeah, so we had fun though. That was that was a good time and uh, yeah, good racing right there. So anyway, hope you enjoyed. More of these to come. Thanks for watching.